everyone, my name is Alexandra and welcome to Creative 404. In today's video, I have something exciting to show you. Yes, I discovered a local artist. I'm really excited. She is a Mexican artist here in uh, Houston, Texas. She does art dolls between her and her family up in Mexico or down in Mexico. And uh, she is really talented. I think it is very, very cool. I will leave her, she only sells on Facebook, so she's on a Facebook marketplace. I will leave her page down in the description. It is in Spanish, but don't don't be weary. She does speak English. A lot of her stuff is in Spanish, but she she's okay. <laughs> don't be scared. I love her dolls. They are worth, worth it. Her shipping costs are like, astronomically low I was just like oh maybe it's because she was really close <laughs> she lives in Houston but I was really really happy she sells these dolls at just $15 a piece which is a really good find for a kind for a like an art doll so I was really happy I'm really excited so let's show you the dolls and let's open them because I still have them in the package I bought three dolls Yes, I bought three of them. And each one comes with its own little stand. So I'm really happy about that. We will show you the first one, which happens to be Pennywise. I have always wanted to own a Pennywise doll. Oh, she has little booties on. I didn't realize she had boots. She's so cute. Me. They have the cutest faces. They kind of have the dollar store kind of bodies, which I don't particularly like, but their faces are vinyl. They're not, um, they're not, uh, what is it called? They're not, they're, they're not porcelain. So if I want to change out her body, I certainly can. They are not articulated, which is also kind of not the best, but look how cute that face is. Oh my God, I'm going to show it to you again. She has the cutest face. Oh my God, I am so happy with her. Let's see if her stand works with these shoes on. Yes, they do. Awesome. So that is my first doll. Let's put her off to the side here. I have a Joker doll as my second. I actually almost left without buying this doll, but I just kept thinking about her and I had drove to go visit her and drive, well I drove about like 30 to 40 minutes to visit her because Houston's a huge city. So I went and went to go see her to pick up two dolls and she brought some extras just to show me and she sold me. I was like, I couldn't afford another doll, but I brought up my credit card and I was just like, ah, glory. This is too cute. It has green yarn for her hair and it is super cute. Look at that face. How can you not say no to that face? She's so cute. Look at her little outfit. Mm, without the little, little, uh, little tie. She's so adorable. Yeah, some of her makeup is kind of, uh, a little, what is it called? Rubbed off a little bit, but it kind of goes with the whole Joker look where the lipstick is not fully on there well. They are ha they all have pointy toes, so it feels kind of weird. They have kind of like a pointy toe, but that's fine. She's on her stand. That doesn't matter when she's on her stand. And like I said, I really just love the face, so that's what really sold me on this doll. I'm going to put her here. This is actually the doll that I found on the Amazon Marketplace. And the reason I even was introduced to this girl, this is Coraline. Now Coraline's hair is a little bit messed up after pulling her out of that bag, but Coraline is adorable. Look at that button eyes. Eee. She has like the softest hair too and it has tinsel in it. It is really cute. Oh my god, I love her. I saw her and I had to have the doll. So it was like I it was like an impulse buy. I, I bought it real quickly and uh I just I didn't regret it. Instantly, I loved her. She has the cutest face. Her plastic really does smell like plastic compared to the other dolls because she's wearing the raincoat stuff. But look how cute. She fits in her little stand nicely. Oh my god, she is adorable. 
I love the blue hair. I love the yellow raincoat. It is just too cute. So this is a Mexican local artist who sells Mexican dolls straight from Mexico. She also customizes them herself. She is a wonderful person and I loved talking with her. And if you'd like one of these dolls, to go look in the description. They're really cool. I believe in supporting all artists, especially local artists, especially small artists. So please show some support if you can. If not, that is fine. I enjoyed just sharing with you what I found. I hope you like this video. It's a short one, but I just got really happy and had to share it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you have any comments, want to have any questions, put them in the comments down below. I'll answer all your questions. Or if you just want to say how nice these dolls are, you can be nice to insist. Just be like, yeah, pretty dolly. Anyway, if this is your first video, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye now. Bye bye. This is a very quick video, but I have to go real, I have to go visit my mom. So bye bye. Bye bye.